Hello everyone to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description. We can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on the website too and it's free to sign up and join so go ahead and go check it out. But um, also, from now until the 28th of this month, you can get 25% off personal readings using the code down below in the comments. So let's see what we have going on for Aquarius. What's going on for our squiggly line sign? All right, a lot of you guys are tapping into your personal power. You're tapping into your personal strength, Aquarius, is what it feels like for you. And you're tapping into your emotions as well, all right? Some of you guys may also be connecting more with your family here too, but okay. So if you've been having a hard time sleeping at night, it's because there's a spirit trying to reach out to you at night, maybe the moon here. But I feel like what we have the spirit world trying to reach out and tell you here is Aquarius, there are some doors and opportunities coming your way that you've you've been wanting, you've been desiring. This is your heart's desires. And it's finally coming in, Aquarius. And I feel like when it finally comes in, you're going to get so emotional about it because it's going to be like a big breakthrough moment for you. Now, when these opportunities come in, do not procrastinate. Go after the opportunities, Aquarius. All right. This could be something to do with your creativity here. You guys also got love coming in here too. Maybe the person coming your way is also an extremely creative person here. Princess of Wands. All right. Princess of Wands is the princess that is fiery. She's ambitious here. She's passionate. She's about action. She can either be you or maybe she's the person coming your way, but let's go over here and let's see more about this for Aquarius. All right. So tell me more for Aquarius. You guys got a new beginning coming into your life here. You guys are ascending. You're moving forward towards victory here, Aquarius. And I feel like, once again, you guys are tapping into your creative side. And I feel like that's what's going to be bringing you victory here. And once again, I feel like you have somebody here coming your way that is also extremely creative as well. All right? Um, it's what I feel like for you, Aquarius. And you guys may be setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you. Some people here that are trying to get in your way. And you're like, get out of my way. You know? Um, there could also be somebody here that's missing some pet or animal they used to have. I don't know if that's you or maybe your person here, but we have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance. That's what's coming your way is good luck in abundance, Aquarius. So let's go over here and let's see more. Judgment. We have you guys connecting with Archangel Gabriel here, and there's about to be surprises. There's about to be surprises coming your way, Aquarius, but these are surprise blessings coming in. Surprise abundance. Chariot. Something with the car. There's a surprise with the car, but I feel like it's a blessing. It's some sort of good news about a car, Aquarius. I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of surprise good news. There's a five of pentacles. Page of Swords. There's somebody here you're not speaking to that is still watching you as well. They want to reach out to you, but it's like they can't reach out to you. This may be a Cancer Zodiac sign or a Scorpio here. Um, it may be two people. Maybe it's a Cancer and a Scorpio that wants to reach out to you, but maybe you have this person blocked or something. Aquarius. You're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want. And there's something here you've been asking the universe for. You are about to receive. And it's abundance. You're about to receive your abundance, Aquarius. Once again, we have you guys tapping back into your spiritual side as well. And there may be people that can't speak right. You know, that happens sometimes. But there may be some people that are trying to, you know, argue with you about this or argue with you about what you're doing here. And I, I feel like you're just like, you know what, get out of here. You know, you're like, get, get, go away. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I feel like you're going to say something to them that's going to make them feel really stupid here, Aquarius. And... Ugh. So there may be some that you're putting in their place. And then there may be some that's just not going to listen to anything that you have to say at all. Because they think they know everything... They're blocking you out. They have their own thing in their mind, you know, about what you're doing and whatever. They think that you, you have, they think they have you figured out when they don't even really know what you're doing. This is just the assumption 
that they have in their own mind. And it's like a very negative opinion because they choose to have that negative opinion of you, Aquarius. And I feel like you're just like, you know what? I'm done with this because it's, it's like you didn't really do anything wrong to this person or these people. They just came at you this way. Maybe you try to talk to them about it and then they did this. All right. I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to say, like I said, you're going to say something that's going to make them feel stupid, though, about this. Then you're going to continue to focus on what it is you desire, the moon. Once again, we have you guys connect with your moon sign, and you're calling in what it is you desire. You're calling it in, Aquarius. You're calling in what you've been envisioning for your future. It is coming in from you, and there's somebody here. See, I feel like when you start getting everything you desire, there's somebody here that's going to try to come back around because it's like they regret what they said or did because now they're feeling left out because you got these things and they feel like they messed up because now you're, you know, you got things going on for yourself. It's a gold digger, right? Yeah, don't let whoever that is back in. Focus here on self-love, self-care, Aquarius. Once again, you guys got your abundance coming your way, and you guys got new opportunities coming in. You got new opportunities coming in that are going to be emotionally satisfying to you, Aquarius. You got some of you guys have new love coming in here, but overall, you got new opportunities coming in that's going to make you extremely happy in your life here. All right, so let's go over here and let's see more. Love. Yeah, some of you guys may have new love coming your way. Maybe this is what's making you extremely happy, Aquarius. Or some of you guys, it may be being single. It may be being single. It may be the money here with the Nine of Pentacles. All right. It may be the Ten of Pentacles that's going to make you happy. Ten of Pentacles is a large sum of money. It's the family. It's the dogs here. It's overall abundance. It's overall stability. And it's what's coming your way. All right. If you've been doing some money manifestations, those are going to be working out for you. You're getting your money. You're getting new money opportunities coming in. That's bringing in balance for you. Aquarius is what I feel like here. You're going to have a lot of balance in your life. Some of you guys have been wanting to go explore. Maybe you're going to go explore here once you get all your money. All right. Maybe you're going to go on a little tour across the world or whatever. But overall, you guys have balance coming your way. You guys have stability. You guys have abundance. There's money. Aquarius. So let's go over here and let's see more. So tell me more. Or Aquarius. All right. Judgment. Once again, we have you guys connecting with Archangel Gabriel again here. And it feels like there may be some people trying to return back to your life, but I feel like you're not open to communicating with these people. Maybe you have success and victory by not being open to communicating with these people here, but I feel like these are people here that once again were trying to put you down for something, Aquarius, and they had a very negative opinion of you, and they were also very immature here, and I feel like you're ascending, I feel like you're moving on here, and I feel like you're not even looking in any of their directions here, because all they try to do is just cause drama in your life, and I feel like you don't want drama, Aquarius, and you also don't want their small offers either. You want the big Ten of Pentacles. So you're moving towards your Ten of Pentacles. You're bringing in your Ten of Pentacles. Chris, once again, Ten of Pentacles is a large sum of money. It's the family. It's also the home on this card. And it's the dogs. All right? So it's overall abundance. It's overall stability. Don't overthink things. You're going to be fine. And once again, you guys are getting everything that you've been wishing for. You guys got to be open to this, Aquarius. Higher fence. Yeah, we have a higher level of commitment. But I feel like... Okay, some of you guys, you guys could be getting married. There could be someone here you, you could end up getting married to in the future. Um, with the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Could be the happy marriage, the happy family, all that stuff, happily ever after. Others of you, there may be some big commitment here to do with your career that's going to bring in a lot of money. That's going to make you guys extremely happy. Or maybe it's both happening for you guys. Just depends on what you asked for. But overall, you're celebrating all this, Aquarius. Once again, there's going to be some slime ball that's going to try to pop back up into your life here. King of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, God. All right, maybe it's two slime balls. Here, anyways, they're going to try to weasel their way back into your life. I'm trying to mooch off you. You know, 
King of Pentacles. One of these may be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Doesn't really matter what their zodiac sign is, though, because you already know who they are by their behavior, and I feel like you're not looking at their messages, Aquarius. I feel like you're ignoring them. I feel like you're like, no. Maybe you're leaving them on red. Maybe you're blocking them or something, and I feel like you're continuing to invest into things that you're wanting to invest into. And, yeah, you may have two people that are trying to get their way back into your life here. Because now they see you as the empress, but you know, if they couldn't support you and be there for you when you're at your low points and actually be supportive instead of just talking crap, they don't deserve you at your high points in your life, Aquarius, you know? It's a no, right? These are deceptive people anyways, just trying to manipulate you here, deceptive, manipulative Toxic people here that I also feel like breadcrumb people, string people along, like to get them attached, try, try to break them down and things. And you know, it's a very toxic behavior with these people or this person here, Aquarius, just trying to manipulate you. I got Capricorn here with the devil. Um, yes, either way, you know who this person is or who these people are. Because you know who you've dealt with in your life here. But either way, this is this is something here you're not allowing back into your life here. And you guys also got new love coming in anyways. King of Wands. Some of you guys may have a Leo coming in. Maybe there's Leo new love coming your way. See, I feel like what you're investing into is going to pay off for you once again, Aquarius. And there's some big investments you're making that are going to be paying off for you a lot here. Some of you guys could also be um investing into your education here as well but strength once again we have leo there's a leo popping up in your reading there's a seven of swords though a queen of wands the empress the knight of swords the eight of wands the knight of pentacles there's a different leo coming in to communicate with you that you already know to be sneaky and deceptive and to kind of watch Watch it with them, you know, is what I feel like for you. A lot of you guys are also focusing here on your money. You're focusing here on your abundance. You're kind of just more focusing here on yourself rather than whatever this person is trying to convince you into doing here. And once again, you guys got your Ten of Pentacles coming in. Ten of Pentacles, again, it's a large sum of money. It's the family. It's the home here. It's the dogs. It's overall abundance. It's overall stability. And it's what's coming your way. Aquarius, it's what's coming in for you. You guys got new money opportunities coming in that's going to lead to you guys having a lot of money. The Emperor, some of you guys be starting new businesses. Maybe this new business is growing here, or maybe you already have a business. That business is growing here. Aquarius, either way, there's there's money to be made. The Queen of Swords is yourself. The male or female does not matter. But overall, you guys are moving towards success. You're moving towards victory in your life here. You're creating the success. You're creating the victory. And once you get everything you've been wanting and desiring, you got the whole world in your hands after that. And you're going to be like, which way do I go now? Whichever way you want to go. You know? Yeah, once again, there's going to be somebody here trying to pop back up that misses you or whatever. Just whatever. You know? <laughs> So let's go over here and let's see some advice cards for you. So tell me what the advice is for Aquarius since we're talking about business here. Go live. You're being told to go live. You got a business? Go live with it, right? Go live on some sort of platform. Build an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting live sessions around your topic on social media. All right, right. Copywriting. Some of you guys may be writing something here. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft the words that speak to your heart of your ideal clients. So this is this is marketing. Working on something here with your marketing that's going to really speak to people here and make them want to buy your products. Advertise. Yeah, advertising Aquarius. Get the word out about your business in a strategic way. Experiment with paid advertising to attract real buyers and build your list. Okay? Decide. You're being told to decide which way you want to go. It says, confused by too many choices. Decide the best course of action and pursue income generating activities in your business. So, that, yeah. Best course of action is going to be what's going to be generating you the most income. All right, Aquarius? Focus on that. Yeah, there's somebody that I feel like is trying to pop back up that you just feel like you have no connection to. 
anymore. So I feel like you're not looking in their direction. They're still trying to pop back up though. Aquarius still trying to manifest you. And I feel like you're walking away from them because I feel like you're just like, I don't even want you anymore, dude. You know, maybe, I, I don't know. You're just like, I don't want you. I want something else, something different, somebody different, you know. You guys also have new money opportunities coming in once again. And overall, your heart desires is what's coming your way, Aquarius. Okay? Yeah, what you're most passionate about is what's coming in. You're being led and guided towards it, Aquarius. And I feel like you guys have been generous to those around you. King of Wands. We got a King of Wands here. Uh, but you're taking action towards what you really want in your life. And what you really want is just up ahead for you. And it's, once again, it's coming in closer. You're going to be... There's a surprise. Once again, there's a surprise blessing that comes with this. Like, something comes in surprisingly. It goes easier, smoother than what you've been expecting. Once again, this is your heart's desires. Aquarius. I'd be connecting with the Earth Mother Gaia here. Some of you guys are going to be meeting more of your soul trap, soul family. People here that are into the same things as you. They resonate with you. They're on the same vibration as you. And overall, you guys are getting everything you've been wishing for. So, yeah, I don't know. Something you're doing involves you meeting your soul tribe, soul family as a surprise. Like, that wasn't the intention of it, but you just met them and you're like, oh, this is nice. You know, people here that actually, you know, you have some things in common with, right? And you're shifting, you're changing, you're changing your whole entire life here. And you're changing your life here towards victory, towards success, Aquarius, towards, you know, what you want, justice. All right, so that's that's victory, that's success, that's justice, that's balance. People here looking up to you, you're celebrating all of this, Aquarius. And once again, there may be somebody here that you're walking away from. And we have the universe coming in, wanting to work with you, wanting to bring you more success here, more balance, more justice, more victory, king of swords. King of swords is yourself, female, the female does not matter, but blockages that were in your path of this have been removed, Aquarius. And once again, you guys are signing some big contract. This could be for your career. You know, this could be, yeah, I feel like it is something career-wise when we talk about success and victory, right? Others of you, you guys could be getting married here too. Is what I feel like for you. This is what's extremely interesting too. That something here with the big contract is extremely interesting to you, Aquarius, and you're manifesting it, right? You guys are also manifesting miracles coming your way. Ten of Swords. There's a King of Wands with the Ten of Swords. There's a Seven of Wands. Yeah, see, I feel like there was somebody here that tried to throw up a lot of blockages in your path here. Somebody here that tried to betray you and all these things. There's somebody here you've already had conflict with and walked away from before. And I feel like you're leaving this as something that's done and over with, Aquarius. And you're, you're moving on with your life once again. Yeah, this is somebody from the past trying to pop back up. And I feel like you're just like, nope, not doing this. You know, yeah, I feel like you're walking away from them, Aquarius. You're done. You're over with it. Some of you guys, this person may have been a Scorpio. But overall, you guys have blessings coming in from the universe. Again, you're about to get super blessed here. All right? You're getting blessed with money, gifts here, abundance. And this is what you really want. And you're going after it. You're like, yes, bring it in. And once again, there's love coming your guys' way again. This is somebody here that mirrors you. This is somebody here that's a reflection of you. They're very similar to you, Aquarius. And there's a Three of Swords. There's the Hermits. Some of you the person that betrayed you and was trying to get in your way, you were with at one point in time, and now I feel like you're distant towards them because it's like they, they've broken your heart, so you're, you're distant towards them here. But you're getting the knowledge that you guys have also been wanting here, too. You're researching something, you're studying something, Aquarius. And there's somebody, once again, there's somebody here coming towards you that's in their feelings about you that's about to offer you something, Aquarius, and you're also cutting off your cords with the past. Again, the star, the star is your own card here. But yeah, I feel like you're cutting off your cords with people here that have betrayed you from the past, Aquarius, and you're moving towards what's most precious to you, what's most treasurable to you, and some of you guys that may be starting a new business, or maybe your business growing, Aquarius, and you guys are releasing restrictions, you're releasing binds here, and you guys are stepping into new territories of what you really want. You may be stepping into new territories of love here, and maybe you're having justice within your love life. And you guys, once again, you guys are receiving, you guys are studying something, or maybe the person that's coming towards you is studying something. Alright, they're going to be watching you for a while before they approach you. 
okay? Yeah, but there's somebody here that I feel like is wanting to run off and get married with you, to you. And I feel like you guys are creating your ideal lifestyle of what you want here. We have the Princess of Pentacles. The Princess of Pentacles is the princess that's intuitive. She's also practical here. So once again, this can either be you or maybe the person that's coming towards you. Hermit. Again. Maybe love comes in while you're in the hermit mode. Or maybe love comes in and then you just decide you don't want it. Depends. What do you want? You know? What do you want? I feel like you're going to be realizing what you want. But overall... Let's get it. What you're wishing for is coming in for you. Some, like I said, some of you guys may just wish to be single. Others of you are like, yes, let's go get married. You know? It depends. What do you wish for? You see? You have this choice. Do you want to be single? Or do you want to... You want somebody here where you, you run off, you get married, you get up, you get this happily ever after scene, you know? It depends. What's your heart's desires, Aquarius? Alright, so. That is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find even more content on my website, too. Alright, so goodbye, guys.